Today, we're going to be comparing gaming performance on Mac under the native macOS operating system, Mojave, then Bootcamp, then Parallels 14, and finally, VMware Fusion. A few things to consider. Playing games under virtual software has its setbacks. Both Parallels and VMware Fusion do not support the graphics API DirectX 11. They only support up to DirectX 10. As they are running inside the macOS operating system, they do not have access to the OpenGL compute shaders, which is a requirement to develop DirectX 11 support for virtual environments. What does this mean? Well, most modern high-end games now utilize DirectX 11, so finding games to work under virtual software limits you to finding games that support DirectX 10 or 9, which is most 2D games or older titles. Please also note, all these games shown today have been played on a 2018 15-inch MacBook Pro and are playing at the same graphical settings, i.e. a resolution of 1920 by 1080, a quality preset of medium, V-Sync is off, motion blur is off, and anti-aliasing is set to off. Anyway, let's begin with our first game, Batman Arkham City. Even though this is an older title, it is still a good example of how you are limited to playing older AAA games under virtual programs. Under macOS, Arkham City has recently been updated to support the Metal API and 64-bit, so it plays great, hitting an average frame rate of 60 frames per second. Windows 10 Bootcamp plays the same, receiving an average frame rate of 60. However, what surprised me is that Parallels runs this game great, also seeing an average frame rate of 60, while VMware Fusion is clearly far less optimized here, hitting an average FPS of 35. Next up, we have the platform game Cuphead. Cuphead is a perfect example of the type of games you should play under Parallels or VM Fusion. This would be 2D games, because they are not taxing on your Mac hardware. In short, Cuphead runs great all around, hitting a consistent 60 frames per second. Next, we have the most popular MOBA, Dota 2. This game is doing some great stuff under macOS. It now utilizes the Vulkan framework, and using this framework, it hits around 90 frames per second. And if I turned it back to OpenGL, it would receive about 75 FPS. Awesome. Under Bootcamp, it doesn't really play any better, seeing 90 FPS on average on either OpenGL or Vulkan. Parallels plays Dota fairly well, hitting over 60 frames per second usually. VMware Fusion refused to play Dota, always freezing when I launch the game. Coming up next, we have the infamous Mac game, Fortnite. I wanted to find a new high-end game that would work under all four environments, and Fortnite was that game. Under macOS, which utilizes the Metal framework, we are seeing an average frame rate of 75 to 85. And under Windows, we are generally receiving over 110 FPS. The game worked under Parallels, but it was borderline unplayable, typically hitting less than 20 FPS, and it had issues with textures. VMware Fusion would not play the game, always freezing when I got to the main menu. Fortnite is a good example of the type of games you should not play under virtual programs. Moving on, we have the adventure game Life is Strange Before the Storm. Before the Storm is not a demanding game at all. Under macOS, it utilizes Metal and runs at 60 to 70 frames per second. Windows 10 Bootcamp plays it at around 70 to 80 FPS. And to my surprise, Parallels is seeing 80 to 90 frames per second. What the heck is going on here? I don't know if this frame rate is accurate, but wow. Fusion plays before the storm, but at less than 20 frames per second. Our last game is Overwatch. Overwatch is not 
supported under macOS, but I wanted to compare a Windows only game. Parallels claims that Overwatch is very well optimized for its virtual program. So is this true? Well, I'm not entirely sure because at first, I noticed that Bootcamp and Parallels play the game at 70 frames per second. Isn't that awesome? However, Parallels only received 70 FPS when in a training match. And if I played online, it was unplayable. So I'm not sure what that is all about. Do you guys know? It's quite strange. So what can we take from all this? Well, Parallels and Fusion should not be used to play high-end games that use advanced 3D graphics. They should only be used to play low-end games, 2D games, or older titles. Parallels is clearly much better optimized than I expected, especially more than Fusion. However, for the best performance all round when gaming on a Mac computer, staying under the native macOS environment is better, as most games now utilize the Metal framework. Or if you want to play games not supported on macOS, Bootcamp is by far the best option, and as it fully utilizes the DirectX 11 API and even sometimes DirectX 12, you can expect better gaming performance. But what do you think about all this? Which environment do you play games on and why? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.